I'm always thinking, oh, now I want to do this, and then I think, oh, I want to do that, and then, and then each day I choose a different sketchbook. If you are like me, you are probably also constantly searching for the ideal sketchbook. Today I want to show you the sketchbooks I use, so you can maybe get some ideas for choosing your next, next sketchbook. And at the end, I have an exercise which might help you choose your next sketchbook. So, one thing to consider when choosing a sketchbook is the location where you want to use it. And I'll give you two examples, two extreme examples. So this shows you how the decisions uh, how that informs your decision. One is, if you are drawing outside, then it's a good idea to have a small sketchbook, because if you have a big, uh, have a big sketchbook, it tends to become too heavy. Even an A4 sized sketchbook uh, eventually becomes a burden to carry around. So you start leaving your sketchbook at home. And if you don't have a sketchbook with you, then you don't draw. The best sketchbook is the one you have with you. So. As an example, this is the smallest sketchbook I have. It's it's something I can always slip into my uh, into a pocket of my coat, and uh, it's it has a soft cover, which has an advantage because I can put a pen in there and my reading glasses. I'll show, it's, these are not ideal. The, the the main feature is that they are compact and they they help me see things sharp again, but they look silly and they are not comfortable. But it's, it's a very compact uh, uh, thing, I, I can have it with me in my sketchbook. And the sketchbook I can then use to sort of make lots of notes and sketches and try things out. Just doodle things, write things down, experiment, try uh, thumbnails. It's, it's just a, a little laboratory I have in my pocket uh, when I go outside. But if I'm doing the same thing, experimenting inside, in my studio, I might be using, for example, a bigger one. So this is a bigger. This is a studio sketchbook, which is bigger. Uh, the bigger, the better. Was well, not well. This is big enough. I for I, I tend to, a four tends to be enough space for me that I can sort of have room to experiment and try things out. It's kind of ro a ro a novel paper or a newspaper paper. It's very cheap. You can see I'm just trying things out here. I'm just these are just quick sketches, text trying things out, I don't know, it's, yeah, just experimenting, lots of ideas and just quick sketches, thumbnails. So this is a place where I experiment and, um, and try things out. So the, and it, because it's in my studio, it can be bigger. But I also, for example, when I'm going outside and I want something bigger and I do have a bag with me, important, then I can work slightly bigger. So this is again a sketchbook where I try, experiment, try things out thumbnail things so this this uh, this uh, I have uh, well sometimes uh, experiment with style so I try th things out also in that arena and then I get better drawings so but this these are kind of I, I usually don't show these these are experimental uh, sketchbooks where I, I try things out while I try out ideas Usually the drawings you see of me are the finished drawings, so it's a very different kind of sketchbook. Also there, you can have smaller ones and bigger ones. I'll show you two really nice ones. So this is a, this is a Leuchtturm 1917, and, and this is a really great sketchbook. This is almost ideal. It's, this is compact, you can carry it with you. And uh, it has thick paper, which means the drawings from the previous page don't shine through. Uh, it's, it's, I'm trying things out here. Uh, so you, uh, this again, uh, this this is a relatively old sketchbook, and um, and and so the drawings are old. It's, it's, uh, I, I tried. It's 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 because it's thick paper. It's also uh, there are no rules. Great. <laughs> it's, uh, I, I I tried different mediums, as you can see. This was all sketched on scene, I think. And uh, this is a relatively old sketchbook. But one of the advantages of this one is that it just opens flat. It just does. Whichever page you open, it opens flat, and I, that's nice. You know, this is nice for sitting somewhere, you know, in a coffee shop and and observing your surroundings and drawing or writing down notes, etc. The paper is a bit thicker, so you have fewer pages. But because I, it takes me forever to fill such a sketchbook, uh, for 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 me to even fill a sketchbook page, uh, this is this is more than enough for me to, to, to time over for quite a long time. Uh, this is a Stillman and Byrne Epsilon series, which is perfect for, for inking. 
Uh, I've only uh, tried a few pages here. It's, it's thinner, so the, the previous page does shine through, but that's no, actually not really a problem. I use these white paper things uh, when I want to make a finished line drawing, which I might want to use digitally. And then when you clean it up, the, 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 the drawing see through the paper, you can actually f easily filter that out. So that's actually not, it's not really a problem when the paper is thin. And it means you have lots more pages in your sketchbook. Advantage of a ring bound, of course, is that it opens and you fold it and then the, the, the cover, the hard cover becomes, um, becomes the board you can draw on. So you can stand there and, and draw and it's, it's, it's perfect for standing and drawing. Whereas this one is ideal for if you're, this, this is ideal for if you're sitting, you know, you open it flat, you're in uh, some coffee shop and you open it flat and you start drawing and writing. This uh, ring bound is perfect for if you're standing. You have these in larger sh uh, uh, sizes too. That's the, the, this is Winter Newton. Uh, but it's perfect, for, for example, for pencil sketching. You can stand and draw. So one thing you have to consider uh, is uh, the thickness. Do you mind if, if the drawing shines through? The thickness also matters for mediums. If, if you're working with watercolors, then it's better to have thick paper. I just will, will, uh, use color pencil, which is a wax-based pencil, so, uh, so it doesn't smear. And because a normal pencil is a clay-based pencil, so the, the, the clay particles uh, lay on the paper, go into the paper, but they also stay on top of it, so it smears a bit, whereas color pencil is wax-based and it doesn't smear as much. So I like to use that for underdrawing under my pen drawings, and then I can digitally filter out the colors. But if you're working in pencil, for example, you might want to have a bit of tooth. If you're working in pen, you might want to have a really smooth surface. And the, the, the way the paper was bound matters too, because if with the wrong binding, the, the ink starts to bleed. It also depends on the ink, so you have to experiment if you're working with ink. You have to experiment with the different types of sketchbooks anyway. There's also a marked difference between uh, uh, white and yellow pages. So uh, when it comes to sketchbooking, this is an example of uh, the Leuchtturm, like I showed you, the 1917, which has white paper. Um, but the problem is, if sunlight shines on it, then it, it becomes blindingly uh, light. So it's, it's really, it's, it can be really harsh to draw on white paper when you're outside. Yellow paper, so this is a Leucht, uh, sorry, this is a Leda Art Supply, which is also a great sketchbook. Links to all the sketchbooks in the, in the descriptions, by the way. So th th this is again uh, one you it can it's easily uh, easily to carry easy to carry around um, and it ha actually uh, even though it's soft cover it's it's quite it's, it's quite good at protecting the paper inside so it's actually quite good it's not good for standing but it's good for putting down it opens flat it's it's it has these thinner sh uh, sheets which is again not a problem you just see the pages f uh, behind it through it a bit. Um, I, I use these for sketching also, for trying things out. This is a relatively old sketchbook already. But it's, um, it's, it's, it's also perfect for on the go, but this is yellow, so the sunlight doesn't hurt your eye as much if you're drawing outside. Some people just uh, pr prefer yellow color because it, goes, it, it, it reduces the contrast between the ink, uh, the ink or pencil color and the paper, and some colors look red and blue look nice on this type of paper. So that's also an option you have. Another sketchbook I would like to show you is uh, one of my favorites. I never see it uh, mentioned anywhere, but Bookbinders Design has really, really great uh, notebooks. It's, uh, it doesn't open as flat. It's, it's not easy to open flat, so it's not perfect for that. And it's a thin paper, so that's okay if you don't mind. But if, you, if, if that's okay with you, then you have many, many, many sheets of nice, beautiful white paper that holds ink well. It doesn't bleed through whatever ink you use even though it's thin, so it's perfect for that. And it's it's just a beautiful hardbound. These are really old drawings, I'm not sure I'm gonna show you. Um, but yeah, it's it's, uh, it's 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 also really nice, it's a really nice sketchbook. You have this, this is the A4 size, which is kind of heavy, so I wouldn't carry this one around. They have smaller ones, and those are easier to carry around. So this is an example of a larger Leuchtturm 1917. Um, it has the same paper, so it's um, and I use it to experiment. It's, it opens flat, as you can see, it always opens flat. 
and I experiment with style. I, 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 when it's something I might want to scan, I like to work in white paper and, uh, and uh, try things out here. It's, uh, it's, 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 uh, but this is a larger size, so it will be more suited for studio. But, uh, for studio. but uh, as you can see, I also sometimes use it for, these are older drawings, but sometimes I use it for experimentation, mostly style experimentation, I think. And, uh, but that's already an older sketchbook. This is another Stillman and Byrne Epsilon series. Again, great for inking. It's uh, it's one I'm working in now. It has thinner paper, so the the next page does shine through. But uh, again, you know, if I scan it, I can filter it out. You, you can see here these are relatively recent drawings. You can see here how I work. I work with blue, uh, actually first with green pencil for the rougher under underdrawing. Then I work in, a, in blue in a, in a technical pencil, blue pencil to, to make the finer drawing. And you can see pre preparations here. I'm going to plan uh, to ink these soon. Uh, and it will should come out something like this. I like working in a thin line style. And uh, so these are, style experiments which I might want to scan one day and use digitally. So I, then I work in white paper. This is a larger Stillman and Burn, which I would use in a studio. Whereas this could be a smaller Stillman and Burn, which are, is ring bound and perfect for holding while standing. So it's easy to, to carry around with you when you're going outside and drawing, drawing outside. So I haven't used this one enough yet, but it's it's perfect for that. The paper is the same, it's perfect for ink, uh, the Epsilon series of Stillman and Burn. Again, link in the descriptions. But there are also other options. There's, uh, for example, long, long time ago, I made uh, my own sketchbook. This is a Coptic Stitch sketchbook. You can look it up uh, on, the, on YouTube. It's actually very easy, it's, you, and, and the advantage is you get to decide on everything. You decide on the cover, you know, this is a hardcover with plastification, the color, color of the cover, you, you, you get to decide on the size, you get to decide on what paper you use, you get to decide on how many sheets, so you get to decide the whole thing, and which means you can make your own perfect sketchbook. So I used uh, watercolor um, uh, paper for this one. This is a very old sketchbook, this is from 2009. And here I'm sketching with ink. So I was, I was using that, That's, this is a really old sketchbook. So I'm, I was, but it's, I'm, I'm, I was clearly, this was probably actually done in the zoo. These are location studies in the libraries, watching people and uh, I think this is watercolor. But as, as a Coptic stitch opens flat, whatever page you open, it always opens flat. It's, 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 it's pretty cool it's pretty if you look at uh, making your own sketchbook this could be ideal for you one interesting thing i noticed is is um, sketchbooks are always kind of have a black cover i don't know it's, it's probably because it looks cleaner you know it's, it, dirt doesn't show as much on it and it, it looks smooth and clean but for artists kind of if you have white or 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 a colored cover cover you can actually draw on it which might be uh, fun and might be a way to distinguish the sketchbooks from each other so you can easily more easily tell them apart well, it would be inspiring to actually draw on the cover itself so there are a, a few brands that allow you to do it but yeah, mostly you know it's it's all all yeah black which is i suppose also okay one other thing is if you're drawing is uh you can of course one thing I haven't discussed here is making finished pieces on separate pieces of paper, which you can later sell, for example, or hang on a wall. I also use uh, loose sheets of paper. Uh, I have stacks of paper, which I was th intending to throw out, out anyway. And then I do lots of sketches in here. here you can see me do uh, preparation for a YouTube video about uh, pers perspective theory in 30 minutes. So if you're interested, um, keep an eye out on that. But uh, so you can see me doing lots of quick s sketches and st uh, things here, trying things out, see what works, etc. And so you can use separate pieces of paper too. The, 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 the thing, the difference is, you tend to throw these away. Uh, if, if, it's, or it's, or if, if it's a finished piece, you hang it on a wall or you sell it. But it's uh, for some reason, sketchbooks, you kind of, Keep, uh, you can put in a bookcase on bookshelves and you can keep them and maintain them uh, for future reference. So it's, it can be cool. It's, it's, it's easier to, 
to keep and look ba leave back through. Uh, one of the things I do, because what you can see here is I jump from sketchbook to sketchbook. I'm always thinking, oh, now I want to do this. And then I think, oh, I want to do that. And then, and then each day I choose a different sketchbook. And I have all these sketchbooks which are half finished. I mean, the f I, I even have one from 30 years ago. I, I started this one 30 years ago. And it's just fun to see how you evolve. So always write down a date on the page, even if you're, especially when you're jumping from sketchbook to sketchbook, you can then, uh, some sketchbooks I've started, I've started five or seven years ago and I'm drawing it now again. And it, then you can see the difference between my, what I was drawing seven years ago and what I'm drawing now. And I can really see how I grew as an artist. And it's really fantastic. So do write a date and, um, and uh, that will help you enjoy it. But so as you can see, I, I like to jump from sketchbook to sketchbook uh, because each has its advantages and disadvantages. One is more suitable for working in the studio. The other is more suitable for working outside. One is better for inking. The other is best, better for sketching in with a pencil or a ballpoint pen, for example, if it's a sketch, if it's a throwaway sketch. So today I want to propose a, uh, an exercise for you, which is uh, also an important thing to do. Uh, have a look at your current sketchbook and try to decide for yourself whether which aspects of it you don't like. Is it too large and too heavy to carry around? Um, or you, you can have multiple sketchbooks, eh? so you don't have, need to have one. Like I said, I have multiple, but you, uh, maybe you have one that's too small to work in the studio. Maybe the uh, you have one that where the paper uh, feels too good and it's too expensive, so you're afraid to sketch in it. Maybe one of the, it's, uh, it does have cheap paper, so you're invited to sketch in it, and you so you never make complete finished pieces. For that, it's nice to work with nice materials. Maybe you like thick paper, thin paper. Maybe you want to work with pen and ink, and so you want smooth. Maybe you're working with pencil, so you want to have a tooth. Maybe you really want it to open flat so you can work on it easily on it and have a, a page spread. But maybe you want to be standing, so maybe you need a wire bound so it's easier to hold while standing and drawing. So ha have a look at your current sketchbook and decide for yourself, yeah, I this is what I want to change about it. So I hope this video was useful to you. I have a newsletter where I send out a newsletter every week with an exercise like this one or other ones. And uh, but I also have this YouTube channel, of course, so you can subscribe. YouTube doesn't always show all the videos, so there's that. So if you really don't want to miss exercises, I have many, many ideas for exercises. I try to come up with a new one every week. So please consider subscribing to my newsletter. I hope this was useful to you, and thank you for watching.